What is up everyone? So today I'm starting off this video. I'm gonna be making my way to a haunted hospital in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna see if I can get there safely. I won't be recording inside. I'm gonna save that for Franco TV. However, I am gonna be recording the process going there. And then probably tomorrow I'll be going to a downtown. I'll probably put it all in together. But that being said, let's get into the video. First things first, this is my amigo Claudio. Claudio is gonna be pretty much helping me get there. He's my driver. Claudio dice hola. <laughs> hola. Hola. So right now we're heading towards the location. The thing is a bit further than what we expected. Um, and the other thing is I really wanted to get there towards nightfall. Pretty much having a little bit of daylight and not too much nighttime. But because I might be showing up there at night again because this place is a lot farther and uh, the traffic is pretty bad actually going up there. Not right now, but going up there it is. So this is a steel ball. You can see how it has a little bit of uh, some marks here. Apparently he used it on thieves that were trying to rob him in his car. I guess doing Ubers out here is extremely dangerous. And uh, he's actually used this a couple times. You open this up with the lanyard, you just rip it open, and you can swing it around. It actually keeps the threat at a distance. But if this hits you on the head, it is extremely deadly. All right, I'm now getting closer to the location. You can tell that there's a lot of lookout people too. I went to a gas station just to buy a battery for the spirit box because I don't know what happened to one of the batteries. And uh, there was a lookout guy in the front. I don't know if he worked in the store or not, but uh, he was actually the first person I said hi to just to make sure. Senor, tu eres seguridad. So I had to turn around. I had to turn around because I have security behind me. And uh, I guess they just kicked me out. I just made it back to the car. Um, we're heading out of here. Unfortunately, I wanted to stay more and do more of an investigation. But again, like I said in the beginning, that location was extremely dangerous. The location I'm in is extremely dangerous. Right now, a train's on its way through here. You see it, I'm gonna be going deeper underground. Check out the train. That's actually going for the other side. I'm not supposed to pass this line. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I want to point it outside, but it's all dark. And I can't go too far out there because it looks like somebody's rapping on the bus. I don't even know if I could see outside. All right, so I just got off the train. And now, I gotta find my way out of here. So this is the sign that I have to find, El Salida. That is where the conductor stays at. But apparently there is no conductor, so the train runs rampant. You go full speed ahead. Now I'm on my way to the rooftop, in which I have no idea what to expect. I just kind of took the train to a random part of the city, and so, I am fitting to find out. Baños. Okay, salida. I'm going with my gut instinct. And hopefully all turns out well. There we go. Ooh, I can feel that precious cold wind. Feels amazing. Wow. Where the hell am I? <laughs> 
I'm not too quite sure where I am, but I am going to be walking through this area and seeing what I can find. Today is just kind of threw everything up in the air and I'm waiting to see what happens or what I get to see or experience or run into. See how that turns out. Let's go. Okay, so this is a flower that during the daytime, it opens up and spreads open. And at night, it actually closes and gets really small. Well, pretty much like how it is now. But at the daytime, it opens up. Never seen it, but I just read about it just now. But look how beautiful it is. There's a lot of people out here. I kind of want to shine my flashlight, but because there's people here, I don't really know if I should or not. So right now I'm walking to this one area here and it looks like I'm in Europe. Oh wow, I actually thought that was the person. Look at this. He's literally holding the tree. I don't know if somebody put him there. That is so cool. Look at all the things holding the tree up. And that's all coming from that tree over there in the back. How did they do that? I wonder if they put the guy's body here and then just put this over it, holding it. I don't know, but that is amazing. And this is why this place reminds me of Europe so much, is that when you look right over here, you have these cool European phone booths, kind of like from Doctor Who, but there's no phones on the inside. It's all been taken out. Recoleta. So I've just made it in to an overnight museum that they have here, completely free. They had like a little piece of paper where you could kind of like walk down and uh, you know, it just kind of tells you where to go. But look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Just people come here to draw, sleep. And let me see what else. Oh, put it on. There we go. Look at this. It's a weird type of museum. I always thought of a museum that would have pictures everywhere on the walls. But this is just regular paint stuff. Look at this. It's the blue room. So check this out. sun it's a bicycle of some sorts I'm not really sure how you would drive it because if the foot pedals are back unless you're driving it looking this way and you're kind of like on a harness so it looks like you're jumping but then there's a back brace I'm not quite sure how this works and if it had a name oh right over here Jesus well I found it this is Provinsky of Newt's She's traveled very far on top of this bike. Oh, I was kind of right. That's how you would do it. And a parachute. Does she jump off of it or, or, or does that? I don't know, I'm confused. And she's drinking this. Is that mate? That's a big thing of mate, if that's mate. All right, so at this point now, I'm making my way back into the subway station, hoping, which it should, it only goes one direction, and that direction is back where you pretty much came from. So what I wanna do is go back uh, to the town that I was just in, because from there I'm still an hour away from where I originally started, which was Saitis or something. I think I said that wrong, it's probably not Saitis, but yeah. So right now, I am right up here, okay? I'm gonna take the train down right here till it gets to Corrientes, which means electricity. <laughs> That's the name of the town, it's good. Well, that street is electricity. Then make a right and go all the way over here to Leonardo de Alem. So this is the oldest train now. I made it to the other side. And these trains look like they're full of people. This reminds me of liminal spaces. 
And I finally get to walk instead of a subway without having people. Look at that. And what's crazy is that when you look back, you can see the whole angle of the train going side to side. Again, you guys probably are like, Frank, we see this all the time, Frank. You're over exaggerating. Well, this is foreign to me, okay? There's a lot of things that I haven't seen. I finally made it to the center of wherever the heck I'm at. But this is like a city square area. Look at that. It's even got like a Washington monument way back there. It's not Washington. I keep saying that, but it's not. It's completely different. And there's a lot of people. <laughs> That's awesome. This definitely looks like a bit of a Las Vegas strip walking down here. But there seems to be a lot of drag queens outside. That is something new. I don't really see so many. Usually you'll see probably one or two next to a popular club or something. But out here, they're like in every corner. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I don't know if this is appropriate. Okay, so I finally now made it to where I wanted to see. Apparently on the very top of that right up there, there's a bell. And that's it. Look at that. And there's even security cameras up there. See those cameras in the side? They're watching all the traffic. And that's a little monument there. I just finished walking all this, all the way down there. I mean, there's a lot of going on further up there. But I think from over here, it starts to split into a bit of a Y incision. And then uh, and that's the end of it. So this road here, I'm right next to the monument right now, is the biggest road in Argentina, Peru. Not uh, Peru, what am I saying? In Argentina. <laughs> that's the monument there. Yeah, I didn't even know that. This is the biggest road that exists in the country from what I'm told. Isn't that cool? And what really excites me is that they actually have, I haven't seen one yet, but I see it now, a KFC. Holy crap. I'm in the mood for a twister. And those little twister burrito things that are just chicken, lettuce. I cannot even feel my legs. I can feel my left pinky toe, but the right one is completely numb for how much walking I've done. I feel like I go traveling now just hiking with a book bag. But yeah, that's a beautiful monument behind me. And I made it to the square of this place. Beautiful nightlife too, by the way. Franco from the future here. I know I shaved my face and everything. This is actually a couple of nights after all of this. I had a lot of editing to do and then that whole little thing with almost getting shot at kind of had me a little bit on edge. I was not expecting that. That was something completely not expect. I just wanted to go in, do my whole little video and get the heck out. But uh, wasn't expecting that to happen. However, I hope you guys liked what you've seen. Please make sure you're notified. You got your bell icon on. I got so many more places coming for these vlogs. And plus, let me know what you guys think of these locations. So far, I have another prison that I found that I want to check out. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.